Okay. Oh, Bloody Mary time. Do this live. Start with the shaker. Actually put the ingredients in first. Doesn't matter the order. Probably does, but I don't care. Pinch of salt, pepper, pepper, pepper. Squeeze half a lemon. If you get a ripe enough lemon, it will fall apart. Totally forget to bring something down to stow the squeezed lemon bits in. I'm just gonna stick it on the plastic bag that it came with. Worcestershire sauce. Um, I don't measure shit. A couple ounces of vodka. That's about two ounces ish. Some amount, preferably more than the vodka, of tomato juice of choice. I chose spicy hot V8. Um, chances are, when you do this, if you do it the way I do it, you are going to make a little too much for your glass. Assuming that it's full of ice before you pour it in there, which mine is. So you're gonna have some left in your shaker, that's fine. Oh, balls. I forgot the most important part for me. Usually calls for Tabasco, but I go for the hottest the stuff I have on hand. Uh, today, that being El Yucateco Black Label Reserve. I don't actually know if that stuff is any hotter than the other colors. It is good and hot. So, here we go. Money shot of sorts. This is another situation where the clear ice is totally pointless. And yep, I have too much. But that's because of the ice and a little less because my recipe sucks. As far as garnishes go, shit. I had a little too much in there. Not even factoring in the garnish is gonna take some space. Ideally, you wash your um, celery before you stick it in there, but celery is the garnish for Bloody Mary. So, there you go. I have no idea what this looks like because I'm bad and I don't have a monitor for my camera, so I can't see behind it. Good luck.